Okay, we're going to uh, show you how to pair now uh, the Road Scout to your smartphone. In this case, I'm using an iPhone. You're going to launch your settings, and I have Bluetooth on here. Toggle it off, toggle it on. Okay, now I'm going to go into the Cobra iRadar app. I'm going to go to my devices, and there's the Road Scout. I'm going to select it and pair it. I'm going to do it right from the Cobra Eye Radar app. Connected, there you go. Okay, so we're going to go back. There's the screen. If you come up to the detector, now you see it's communicating with the iRadar app on the phone. And now the overspeed alert is now showing the mile per hour, which will adjust based on the actual speed limit that you're driving if it's in the database. So, And then this is where it comes into effect, where you can configure how much over your speed limit do you want to not be alerted. So in this case, if I put it at 10 miles an hour, let's say 15, anything really below that relative to the speed limit. You won't, you, you won't get a full alert, which is really nice. So let's go back to the app here. You can see we're not moving. It's communicating. It actually gives us our compass settings. Uh, we can then mark, look at this. This is a really nice police spotted photo enforcement, caution area, traffic jam. So there are some ways uh, like uh, aspects of marking here. And the nice thing about that is it's going to, I just marked some, it's going to uh, communicate with other individuals who are using that I just marked the traffic jam, right? I'm going to just do a caution area. Accident. Let's go back to caution area. Work zone. Reported. Road hazard. That's great. Like a retread from trucks, that's definitely a hazard. Caution area. Detour. Okay, these are marking of police spotted. This is very nice, stationary as well as moving. Very cool. I'm uploading a lot to the to the system. They're gonna say, what's going on here? Here's a red light camera, speed camera, mobile camera. That's great because like with the red flex uh, vans that move around, somebody wants to mark it real time, uh, you'll be able to know that there's gonna be a red flex. So this is a really hot feature, I like this. Definitely cool. Okay. Uh, we did the caution area, traffic jam. We, that, there's not as many. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. So there you go. That's a pretty nice way to mark locations. Uh, there's the map. Okay. We are now going to go to configure the detector itself, right? The subscriptions are where you would log in and create an account and uh, register and then get your software. We're not going to do that for now. Uh, let's look at the settings of the detector. Here you go. The Wi-Fi settings. Uh, we are actually going to... Let's connect this. I don't know what the password is to this, so I'll have to come back to that. But that's nice. You can do it right from the app. Much improved to be able to connect to a, uh, a Wi-Fi spot here. We can do that later. Let's go to the radar settings. We're going to set the sensitivity. We're going to leave it on high. There they are corresponds to what we saw on the detector dim dimmer, dimmer. dark dimmer hear that we're controlling dimmer. right you can see it real time you can go to the detector dim dimmer dark okay i'm going to turn it back right. to bright voice okay i'm going to leave on units it's easier to uh, program this now look at the display color look at this you're going to see the different displays, right? Very, very cool display color. We're on green. There's orange, red, there's the green again, and blue. I'm going to put it back to green. Okay. Uh, frequency scanning bar. You can keep an eye on the detector since I'm making changes. You see it's off. Now the scanning bar is back on. And then I can disable individual bands. You want to pan down here for a moment? And then look at the bands here. So here they all are. Okay. 
laser can turn off x band i'm going to turn off uh, now this is really nice this has on you can't do this on the detector but on the app you can you have segments and k a narrow uh, k narrow four is the upper part of k band the frequencies which i'll have published below the video of what all these segments are but if uh, you come across a lot of um uh acuras or uh chevys or cadillacs vehicles uh hondas they tend to be on the upper range of uh, k band where you don't get alerted like 24 2 and above 24.2 gigahertz and above so that's k narrow they told me so i'm going to have that turned off and that's going to substantially cut down on any kind of alerting uh, so you'll have windows that you can change so very very sophisticated now the windows are a little bit different uh, than uh, the escorts uh, 258 and you know the nine segments so again what those segments are are going to be down in the video description so you can see which ones you want to have on you want to have 33 33 8 34 7 35 5 for us they're the windows you want and uh, I, for the k band i tend to like to see like well if you have red flex you want to be below 24.1 gigahertz uh, but if if you're dealing with conventional k in the state it's going to be like 24 point uh, i don't know 120 uh, to 24 170 maybe that's just a window i'm picking off the top and then you can tailor it to what you like um and there's all your uh types of alerts that you get with gps and we're going to leave these all on except for air patrol so in my experience so far looking at how this is working this is a very mature app and i'm very impressed with how well this application uh works so uh okay uh, let's get back. So that's the iRadar and pairing with Bluetooth. And, and I, you know, if you want to leave iRadar on, you can do that. I also can run Waze so you can get the best of both worlds. Waze apps for people who don't have a detector or part of the ecosystem. Uh, and then this, and you can get both types of alerts. So you get the best of both worlds. And my hat's off to uh, Cedar for uh, making such a great product here. I'm very impressed. So there you have it. That's the uh, programming here uh, through the Cobra iRadar app as well as the Cobra uh, Drive HD, if you didn't see that other video. Uh, both of these we just did in one setting. And uh, I'm sure, based on our experience, this is going to be a hit with uh, Cobra. And these detectors are going to be on limited availability, and I don't think they're going to be released probably until closer to August. So uh, get your order in. Uh, first come, first serve. You definitely want to be in line to get this. So uh, come to RadarBusters.com and we'll be happy to take your order and field any questions. If you have any pre-sales questions, feed it to us. If we don't have the answers, we'll run it right by Escort. Uh, any ideas uh, or comments, uh, we'll feed right back to them. So uh, we appreciate you watching and uh, see you soon. Don't forget to like the video, please. Share it maybe on Facebook if you have a Facebook page. Uh, and subscribe, and we're going to have more of these videos, including uh, more on the uh, Road Scout as we uh, have more time behind the wheel with them. So thanks.